Hi, my name is Donovan and my wife and I are going to show you how to put together a really easy steel frame from Ozsteel. This is my wife's first time putting together some frames. The tools and the equipment you will need, a Stanley knife, a texter, the plans, some chisels, a Phillips head bit and a tech head bit, as well as an impact driver and the appropriate PPE. You will need some trestle tables or some saw horses or even some 44 gallon drums just to keep them off the ground to help with the build. Um, you'll grab your bundle and then you'll start, you'll cut it and then you'll open up the pieces, laying them out to start with. We're looking for TP2, which is the top plate 2, that'll be positioned against the temporary brace. We'll then be looking for BP1, which is the bottom plate 1, which we'll be using as a support for the studs at the bottom. The next step will be then to arrange your studs from stud 10 through to 13 on the left hand side of the frame, followed by stud 17 to 21 on the right hand side of the frame. We'll then find stud 10 and we'll position that on the end and that will be the first starting point. When placing stud 10 into the top plate, you will twist and push. The next piece we will look for is stud 13 which we will then place where the window is. Then the bottom of the plan will show the stud orientation in which way the C-section faces. It's a simple process of twist and push. Your next procedure is to find NG24, which is Noggin24. This will be placed in to secure the two studs together. When placing NG24, make sure that the label is facing to the left. The next process is to take studs 11 and 12 in a simple process of twist and push through the noggin and squeeze and pull at the top plate. The next process is to mirror what we've just done on the opposite side. The next process is to look for HD3, header 3, which will really form part of your window. When we place header 3 in the position, make sure that the label is on the left hand side. We will then rotate it and we'll only screw off one end first. We'll now grab ST6 through to 9, which now forms the K-brace for the top of the window. With this part, again, making sure that the top of the K-brace is across the top. We'll now take ST14 through to 16, and header four to finish the window. Once we've finished with the top section, 
We'll now move to S15, which is seal 15. The next process is for the bottom plate to be aligned, in aligned with all the studs. We'll do this by keeping it flat, we'll slide it out, we'll then align everything and then twist up. The last part is to take ST20 through to 23, where we position in place and we will just twist them in and then screw them on. The last thing we will do is we'll flip the panel over and screw it off. The wall is now complete and now you just have to follow the rest of the plans to finish all the other walls.